No, I'm not saying that, bro. But what I'm trying to say is this. It all comes to this, Andrew. Everything in life is about experience. You can say, Aiden, don't touch that hot door over there. It's hot. It's hot. Guess what? What does the mind think? Why does he tell me that? I got experience it myself. I got I to fuck up. I got to fall down. I got to touch that hot door. You can say a thousand times, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. I'm me. I'm my own man. Uh, okay. so, you're, so you're saying I should become an addict to lean. Otherwise, I don't understand the world. You, you went through enough, you experienced enough in your life to something that ignited something in your brain to realize, hey, I don't even have to touch this path ever. A regular person is curious, and human beings are, are amazing because they're curious, bro. Everybody's okay. curious. Yes. So what I'm Fine. trying to say, okay. So we talked about how a physical condition can signal status, and we talked about how you fail there. What else can signal status for a man? I think like I think a big one is making sure his people are good. That's the that's the biggest thing making sure the good answer. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. So that includes the woman who's on your arm and the men who are around you. So what do you and, expect what and, you your, expect? And, and your and your mom. Your mom and you know, your mother yeah, too. and your family completely. So let's say you meet a guy and he's standing with three or four other guys and you think that you want this man in your mind he's a high status man. The other men around him, who are these guys? Explain explain the scenario to me. So can you explain it? You're saying that a man can signal status through the people he hangs around with, correct? Yes, yes sir. Okay, so, so describe describe these other people you'd hang around with if you want to signal yourself as a high status male. I think that if, if you're if you hang around people, if you're in a room full of winners, you're a winner. You, well, not not specifically you're a winner, but you're more likely to be a winner than hanging out in a room full of losers. So what I'm saying is. If you're around people with the same mindset as you are and a motivation, a motivated mindset, you don't like motivated, discipline mindset. If you're around people that are on the same shit you're on, if not greater shit, like friendly competition, for example. If I'm in, if I'm with someone who's competitive as fuck and we're both successful, it's going to make me want to do more. Does that make sense? Well, great. So you're the sum of the five people you spend the most time with, right? So your network is extremely important. Yes, sir. Good. So we agree on that point. It's something else I've been teaching for a very long time, which is also yeah. what I teach on my newsletter and on my website. So we agree yeah. on that. What about the woman on your arm? How would the woman on your arm increase your status as a man? Because the woman on your arm makes sure you nurture, makes sure you um, provide. Well, no, you provide, but the woman on your arm is nurturing you. The woman on your arm is making sure that she can take care. Well, I don't want to come off as misogynist, but this is, I, I'm traditional. I believe that I, I just want people to fucking clip these things the wrong way. But like, I'm asking, I, you know, we're talking about how a man can signal status. What kind of woman next to you gives you status as a man? A beautiful woman. Would you agree a beautiful woman gives you status? Of course, of course. But I think a woman with, with character, I think a woman with, that, knows how to, that, that knows how to take care of a home, if that makes sense. Nurture. I'd agree with that. Again. Like, you're not going to want, like, like, like and, and it took a while for me to understand this. But like, bro, to be honest, bro, you don't want, like, there's, there's a lot of girls in this world, right? And a lot of these girls, some of, some of these girls that are like Instagram models and stuff, they have no personality and they couldn't take care of a home if you handed, if you if you told them, if you give them a manual. They have no motherly traits. They have nothing in them that makes them an actual, you know what I mean, nurturer. But there's girls out there who, who hold it down and who, are, and who, are, who, who know how to nurture, that aren't these Instagram models that are twerking in these videos and fucking half okay. naked and rapping okay. about so, me. Fuck. So like... You so you're talking about a female who's modest, who knows how to take care of a home, yes. who has a good heart, who is beautiful, and yes. that will add to your status as a man. Yes, and if you're in good physical condition, and you also hang around with other men who are winners, who have similar women and similar physical condition, that will also add to your status, and you'll be a very high status male, correct? Correct. Why do you have none of these things? Why are you trying to pet on me? Why do you have none of these things? I have all of these things. What do you have? You have a girl next to you? Of course, I'm... Let's, I'm, I have to be very careful what I say because of my current legal jeopardy. But of course, I think everybody here understands I'm not lonely. I think everyone here understands the power of my network and everyone here understands my physical prowess and my mental capability. I'm asking you why you're not in fantastic physical shape. You're very young. You're very rich. Why you're not in fit? Okay. All right. And why do you have a beautiful woman that you're on who truly cares about you? Why has that not been achieved yet? Well, I mean, if you ask your chat, ask my chat. Watch this. How many of you guys are single in this chat but me? A lot of people are single. It takes a while to find the one, you know, and, and, and hopefully it'll happen to me. And I hope it happens to you. If, I mean, you've met many women. It happens, man. I can't force it. If I force somebody, I go to the street and say, hey, be my wife. Hey, be my person. Be the one on my arm. 
it's it's forced and 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 it's it's hard to find the one that you you wanna you wanna have on your arm. I, I we, you and I are different. I believe that you only need one girl in this world, and I believe that um, I, I believe in one and done. That's what I believe. In. How many love letters a week do you get from women in general? None. I don't get love letters from women. I don't. I don't even write letters. That's like really outdated. And like, no, you, you don't get any fan mail from women ever. Because I'm saying the DMs. Worst. I get DMs, yeah, DMs, DMs, DMs love letters, DMs. emails, whatever. Presents in the mail, all the things I get. How many do you get? I get DMs all the time. I used to get them a lot more um, a few months back, but I mean, I get them all the time. They happen, all, of course. It's, it's always, it's always going on. The DMs. How come, how come you're so single? If all these women want you, Aiden? Because they want me for the wrong reasons, Andrew. Okay. I understand. What do they want you for? Your money? Money. They want me because the name. They want me because the attention. They want me because the buzz. It's the wrong reasons, Andrew. You know this. I think I think the the right one will come to me, and I'll notice once I'm done with this stuff. Once I'm done with this whole internet persona shit, I think the one what no, I'll, I'll find the right one that doesn't care about all this shit. You know, it's uh, it's hard. It's it's uh, I I don't want anything other than I don't want anything that's that's not real. I want real love. I want real action. I think. Waiting is the best thing to do. Focusing on myself right now. I fucked up. I battled addiction. And I pray that nobody has to battle what I went through. And people have it way worse than me. So I'm not even going to sit here and play a victim. I fucked up. I made a decision. I was in the gym looking really good. Making progress. And I fucked up. And I and I regret it. But I learned from it. And I won't do that again. And now I have this whole plan to change my life again. So, you know, it's sometimes you got to fall down before you get back up and even go harder. So I'm excited. I, I can't wait to really see... You know, improve the world wrong again. Like I've always been over my whole life. So, uh, 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 so if a woman only wants you because you're rich and famous, and let's say she thinks you're interesting and charismatic, and that you're funny, and that you have a high status because you're a streamer, you don't think she really loves you? I'm not saying that. I just think it's harder to come by. I think it's 